What's up, guys? Average Gear Reviewer here, back with another video for you. In this one, you know, it, the end of the week is upon us. We made it through another one, guys. And, uh, you know, the weekend is coming up. That means that we can take off all this gear that we've been carrying all week. We can uh, lighten the load a little bit, so to speak. And, uh, you know, what uh, it's time for, it's time for the TGIF Pocket Dump. Let's do it! Welcome average gear review but the best gear is the gear you have on and as always guys welcome to the channel welcome back to the channel if this is your first video thanks so much for stopping by i really do appreciate you stopping by to watch one of my little videos it really does mean a lot to me come back and watch another one if you're a returning viewer great to see you again i hope you and yours are doing well Hope everybody's staying safe during these storms we got going on right now. I've delayed my recording a little bit, so I do apologize. This is going to be a little bit late for tonight, but nevertheless, it's time to get out of the. It's time to get rid of all this gear. So let's get into it. You got got to have the little nectar of the gods. All right, guys, so if you are unfamiliar with the TGI Pocket Dump series, I, I don't know why I'm bending down like this, but anyway, if you're unfamiliar with the series, <laughs> what we do is, uh, what I'm going to do is I will take everything, I'm going to show you what I'm carrying and where I'm carrying it. So I'll start on the left-hand side, I'll go all the way around to the right, and basically just show you what I carry, where I carry, uh, then I'm going to put it all down on the bench, then we'll go to a top-down view, and I'll just kind of walk you through what I carry why I carry well, what I'm carrying right now. This this week, I did want to focus a little bit on, this intro is going to be a little long-winded, guys. I apologize. This week, I did want to focus a little bit on more of a tactical type carry, some tactical concepts for uh, just EDC carry, especially if you're in a more dangerous type of jobs, non-permissive environments, things like that, um, where you need to may need to, you know, not not only be able to have certain things on you, but also blend in with um, the environment around you. So uh, what I like to wear a lot and where I live um, down here in the south in the fall, winter, spring, whenever, it's not uncommon to see people in flannel shirts. Um, they're actually nice and cool with the sleeves rolled up um, and they're blousy. So they allow you to carry a lot of things around your waist without it really showing. Um, I do have on my Wrangler cargo pants right now. And uh, another thing is this is very similar. This is a very common thing I would see people wearing, you know, out and about town. So this, the clothing that I wear um, it is going to be part of the EDC itself. You know, um, if I want to look paramilitary, I might wear certain things. If I want to just blend in and look like a civilian, you know, sort of the uh, gray man concept, I might dress um, another type of way which is generally what I try to do. I try to fit in um, wherever I'm at. And if you're on vacation, th that may mean that you want to dress a different way. Um, but it, it's really about knowing the environment you're in and dressing for that environment where you don't really stand out, um, you know, where you just kind of fit in with uh, everybody around you. So anyway, that's a little bit long winded there. But uh, the, some of the tactical concepts I was going to talk about um, the the another thing about the cargo pants and these are Wranglers. They're they're super cheap. They're like $27. I'll put a link for them um, in here somewhere. Uh, if not, check the description down below. Um, and by the way, if you see anything in here that you're interested in, you'd like to pick up for yourself, I do have links to everything down below in the description. They're uh, full disclosure, they're Amazon affiliate links. Um, they won't cost you any extra. And a lot of times they'll be a little bit cheaper for you, but uh, they do help support the channel because we do get a little bit of, uh, you know, just a little bit of revenue off of that for helping advertise for Amazon. So yeah, if you see anything in the video you want to pick up, there'll be a link down below and uh, go grab it. You'll love it. Uh, so anyway, like I was saying, we're going to start the uh, left hand side and we'll just work our way all the way around to the right. Now I'm going to go ahead and start at the top because if you guys have watched any of my videos, you already know that I like to carry the Olight iMini 2 and I carry it on a chain around my neck. What I love about this is I can detach it from the base and it activates. It's a nice, bright little EDC light, and it really doesn't take up a lot of room at all. Um, I also carry a bobby pin on there, and it sort of magnetizes to the iMini 2, so it just kind of stays in one compact little unit. A bobby pin is a super handy little thing to have on you. You could do all kinds of things with it. They can be bent in all different types of ways. 
um, really allowing you to do a, a lot of different things with them. So super handy. Uh, there's a free tip. You probably have some around your house. Um, start carrying a couple of bobby pins around with you. Um, also, on my wrist, of course, you know, if you've watched any of the videos, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. I've got the Tick Watch Pro, an old one, and I'd really like to get a new one, but I've had that one for like five years and it still works just fine. So uh, I'm kind of from the uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it sort of uh, camp there. Um, in the left hand pocket, I've got the Lighter Bro Pro. Try not to wash out the screen with it this time. If you know, you know the Ladder Bro Pro. Um, another tactical consideration, something that I got from Travis Kennedy. If you guys know, I like to watch a lot of videos about SEALs and operators and what they carry, where they carry things, uh, and you know, just sort of the why. Um, because these guys have been in the you know most non-permissive environments possible um, with little to no backup, and so. To me, what they deem as like an EDC item, I always take it to heart. And any tips that they have, I always try to pass on to you guys when I find them as well. So, um, But if you're not watching the Sean Ryan show, check out the Sean Ryan show. It's awesome. He has like all kinds of ex-military guys on. Um, he's had political figures, all kinds of dudes. But most of the military guys, he'll ask them to do a pocket dump as part of the interview. And some really, really Dom Razzo's pocket dump uh, was was like game changing for me. Um, Ed Calderon did one that was like a man, it, it, look up on YouTube, the Ed Calderon um, pocket dump on the Sean Ryan show. If that doesn't change how you're or what you're carrying, um, you weren't paying attention and go back and watch it again. So anyway, um, Travis Kennedy did one and <laughs> he, uh, he always carries a uh, tactical flashlight in his left back pocket, um, which makes a lot of sense to me. It's there handy to grab with the left hand. Um, what I've heard a lot of people say, and I really, I really like this way of thinking is that it's good to have a tactical flashlight on you. Um, even if you're carrying a pistol that has a weapon mounted light, because if you are searching, you don't want to point your gun necessarily at every area that you're searching, but you may still need to illuminate it. So therefore it may not be the best idea to be using your pistol mounted light to search. Uh, pistol mounted light is meant to illuminate your target and enable you to get good sight picture on them and put rounds down range uh, effectively. Not really so much meant to be searching around in a house with. So there's something to keep in mind, guys. Um, you know, if you ever have to clear your house in the middle of the night, um, it's not a bad idea to have a decent little, um, you know, tactical flashlight. Uh, I, this one is the Olight Warrior Mini 3. It's an awesome little light. I love the fact that it has its button operated so that you can turn it on by the button and it has four different levels of illumination, but it's also tail switch operated. So you can turn it on with the tail switch and it has two modes of operation that are available there. So when you're using it um, in this, you know, carrying like this, say with your uh, pistol or just, you know, using it as a, um, it's crenellated too. It does have a crenellated bezel, so you can use it as a impact tool as well. So um, something super handy to have, something super, um, something to maybe think about tactically uh, as far as adding something to, you know, your EDC that is very dual purpose. You know, it, it's a, it's a flashlight, but it's also a blunt force, uh, striking object. So, you know, that's, that's something that I like in EDC is when things will fill multiple roles. Um, and, and it's more, it's like an efficiency of space and an efficiency of carry. So, you know, just something to think about there. Um, in the left back pocket, and I am carrying left back pocket, I've gotten used to it really quickly, uh, and that is what I'm going to be going with from now on. I do have the Fidelo Minimalist Wallet um, with the pop-up card slots, and I do carry an Olight. Um, it's like an O-card, I think was the name of it, and uh, I carry that in my wallet at all times. It is an RFID blocking wallet, which I recommend every go everybody get right now since money is uh, pretty much digital. That's how thieves are stealing it. So um, nothing else really on the left hand side except for uh, the sidearm retention knife. And uh, on my left hand side for sidearm retention knife right now, I am carrying the Civivi Typhius. And I'm actually carrying it in a CRKT SDN sheath. Um, I just found out when I did the unboxing on that CRKT SDN 
that uh, this knife will fit in it. So I'm giving it another shot because I, I really do like this knife. If you saw my last review that I did on it, it didn't really get just a great favorable review um, because there's four things I think that it really just, it, it kind of, they kind of messed up on, on it. But uh, overall, I do like the knife. It's just the main thing is the way of carry just didn't work for me. So um, something else that's cool is the uh, sheath that it's in. I've got it on a clip in this Vismix tactical belt that I've been using. Guys, I recommend everybody get something like this or maybe one of these. It's a core belt to a tactical belt system. And it has Velcro on the outside. And the way that this cummerbund folds over, it allows you to stick things behind it. Um, and really, really just secure them in there. This is going to be hard to get out of here probably because of how it's, yeah, don't look. Yeah. So sitting in a nice little Kydex sheet that did come off the uh, CRKT SDN, but uh, I found out that the Typhius blade does fit in there and it actually works um, for the straight carry or T handle carry. So yeah. Check out that. Uh, check out my review on that knife if you uh, are interested at all in the typeface. I'll put a, a a link for it up here. I think it'll be up here. I don't know. I always get it backwards. Maybe here, or maybe I'll put it down there. I don't know. Or I could just put it right across the middle here. Wouldn't that be annoying? <laughs> okay. So we're um. Let's see. Oh yeah. So my EDC knife. I'm carrying the uh, concept. Uh, and I just did a review or really an unboxing on this. It's the Concept Integra. Super nice little knife. And after getting a few days to carry it with me, I really like it, guys. This thing is sharp. It's sharper than the devil's tongue, as they say. Okay, so uh, in also in the right cargo pocket, again, like I was talking about, the uh, cargo pants allow you to carry so much extra stuff. Um, in the uh, cargo pocket, I'm carrying the Pocket Platform Ultra. Oh, yeah. This is the Big Daddy from Knife King. It has the hook, or the, uh, yeah, hook on the back, hook patch on the back. And it does have the removable pockets on the front, the elastic pockets, um, a pocket inside as well. And this one does have the long pockets, which is a really awesome addition to the Pocket Platform series, I think. And you can see I've got a whole EDC carry just stacked right in here. I can get to whatever I need to, um, whenever I need it. Highly recommended if you guys don't have um, a Pocket Platform or a Pocket Organizer, you should get one. They're, they're, they really are game changers. Um, pat me down. Okay, so uh, up here, still carrying, of course, the Taurus G2C in uh, Gun and Flower Kydex holster with the Olight Balder RL system on it. Um, I love the combination of the white light and the laser light. And of course, you know, I do carry the Gun and Flower Kydex holster with the UltiClip on it. Again, the UltiClip is one of these things that uh, I just can't live without. Uh, I'm so used to using it and I use it on knife sheaths now. I've got one on my uh, white, Hor white Horse Concept. I didn't just say that on my white horse concept knife. And uh, I really like the way that it carries the ulti clip system is, is super cool. Um, again, if you're interested in that, I'll have a link in the description down below. Um, I do have the, again, you know, the Vismix tactical belt system. I've talked about this before. It's the inner core belt to a belt system. And it has uh, covered in the loop enclosure. So you, anything that's, hook you could actually attach to this uh, and then it does have an over belt that goes on that is a um it's it's sort of a like a gun belt basically is what it is but it goes on over this it uh, clips together on its own but it also velcros onto the outside of this belt and it's really secure i'm working on getting it set up right now it's it's still kind of garbage so I don't know. It's not worth showing off, but <laughs> I'm working on it. So uh, when I get it done, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you guys uh, when I can brag on it, I guess. Um, I am carrying something new. This is something um, that if you follow me on Instagram and, and you should be following me on Instagram over there at uh, Average Gear Review, all lowercase. Make sure you follow me over there. I've been working on a uh, couple of knives of my own, a couple of custom knives, and um I've got one now that is, I think is really close to 
what I've been wanting or one of the knives that I've been wanting and I just haven't been able to find. Um, I don't have a name for it yet. And, and excuse me, guys, because I'm going to tell you, it is, it is rough. There's still a lot of markings on it. Um, so it is not at all a uh, finished project or product. This is uh, something that I'm really, I'm just working on right now. Um, I don't know how to make knives. I don't know how to work with steel. And so I'm just kind of having to learn it as I go. But I'm really, really happy with how this has turned out so far. Uh, like I said, I, I really, I've been wanting to um, work with uh, a knife maker to create um, this blade for me. Because this one, I just took a piece of D2. It was like a D2 blank, a knife blank. And I took it and basically um, using a Dremel, carved it down to this. And um, then I took some G10 sheets and uh, made some scales for it. So, um, and I'll show this off a little bit more in the top down view. Um, I might do a video about this one if you guys are interested. But if you, if you want to watch to follow along on the process of this, um, go over there to Instagram and follow me because I've been trying to post uh, semi-regularly pictures over there. So um, I don't have a sheath for it. I need to get a Kydex sheath maker kit or, or maybe just a generic sheath. Um, but I have been carrying it in a uh, pretty basic um, SOG sheath and it, it actually fits in here very well. Um, no real issues with the way that it carries, but it is just kind of a generic sheath that I've got it in. So anyway, um, I, I don't have a name for this one yet. I, I really haven't come up with a name for the knife. So um, comment down below what you think the name of this knife should be. Um, yeah, and uh, last but not least, you know, is the Vizimix Tactical Belt. And I've talked about that one already in this video, but I, I really, this is one of those EDC items that I got and was really just a game changer for me. It uh, just allowed me to do more things with my belt than, you know, than just uh, it keeping my pants up, which is, it's, it's awesome that it does that too. But um, uh, let's hop over to the top down view and uh, we'll go over a couple of things. All right, guys, over here at the bench, um, taking a look from the top down view. And, uh, you know, like not all this is stuff that I'm carrying right now. Now, I will say this knife actually has been in my hands or in my pocket since I started working on it. I, I don't know why. I just can't seem to. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just can't seem to put it down and it feels so, so good in the hand. Um, I'm, I'm really liking it a lot. I know it looks rough right now. There's a lot of tool marks going on there. Um, but maybe you can kind of see what I'm going for. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm using a Dremel and tearing through bits because I'm having to figure it out as I go. But uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. And it's a very interesting process for me. But anyway, yeah, this is, um, I took basically a, a D2 steel, um, just sort of a blank knife and uh, carved all the detail out of it carved it out back here to make a little area to rest your thumb on some jimping which i need to cut that out just a little bit more i've got some jimping up here in the front you can see on the blade there we can get your index finger in there you can hold it by the ring you can hold it just by the scales without holding the ring um yeah so i really like it and, and i love the shape of it and I just can't seem to, to put it down. So let me know what you guys think if you like the look of it. I, I would love to get some feedback on it. Um, but this is all completely my own. Um, I'm, nobody's helped me with it or done anything on it except for me. So uh, it's all kind of my idea for a knife. You know, I told you I'm still on the EDC knife. I'm still carrying the uh, Concept Integra. I really, really like this knife. Um, it is super slicey, just right out of the box. It came just, just sharp, sharp, sharp. And um, I like the minimalist feel of it. Um, and just it's very nice in the pocket. It's not real thick, not very big. It's actually very uh, sort of slim knife. Carries well. Um, like I said, super, super slicey. Um, and I really like it a lot. I'm not a huge fan. If you guys have watched the channel for a while, you know, I'm not a huge fan of liner locks, but uh, 
being in the knife world, they're almost one of those, I don't know what you call it, necessary evil, I guess. Um, I, I do wish that it had some thumb studs or that you could, that you could front flip it with something, a fuller maybe. Um, just maybe one other deployment method. I'm not a huge fan of just one deployment method on a knife. But um, this is a very, very nice little switch there. And, uh, you know, like I talked about in the video where I did the review on the Civivi Typhi, it's one of the biggest downfalls of this knife to me was the uh, carry. It just is very hard to carry the way that it comes. I don't like the sheath. I don't like the idea of having a knife that's made for self-defense, rapid deployment, being in uh, a, sh a, a leather sheath that you have to unsnap. I don't know. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. But um, I am carrying it in the sheath that comes with the CRKT SDN, and it actually fits very, very well in this sheath. It may be rubbing a little bit, um, but it's not rubbing on the blade itself. And... Uh, it does tend to rest when it's in the sheath, it's resting on the spine of the knife is what's um, wedged into the Kydex. So it's not, hasn't been affecting the blade at all, but it's just opened up a whole, whole new level for me as far as carryability of this knife. I, I think Typhius is really cool. I think it's a very unique knife in and of itself. Um, you know, but like I said in the view, in the video where I did a review on it, it doesn't matter how cool it is or how good the materials are or the fit and finish or any of that, or what the name is on it. If, if you, it's hard to carry, you're not, it's not going to make its way into your pocket. And so, um, you know, it's a collector's item. That's just my opinion on that. Again, you know, this week I was talking about, and you see the magnetic uh, tail cap in action there, it picked up the lighter as I was going by it. Uh, that's another cool thing about these. They do have the magnetic tail caps on them, so you can stick them to stuff if you need to eliminate an area. But the, yeah, the concept of the, um, you know, carrying a tactical flashlight with the crenellated disc here so you can use it as a striking instrument, but yet it is not really um, a weapon. It doesn't look like a weapon. Wouldn't be classified as a weapon, but it's, you know, aircraft grade aluminum and it's it's not going to give at all. So uh, there's another tactical consideration, you know, um, still rocking the pocket platform. Shout out to the uh, Knife Eye King. I'm just a huge fan of his stuff. And um, this really has just opened up a whole new level of EDC possibilities for me. So, yeah, thanks, Will. Appreciate you, buddy. Um, but I do have right now. I've got a. I'm carrying a Sharpie in here, and it's a dual end Sharpie. So it's one of those that has a fine point and the uh, you know regular tip. I've got a i5T in there, uh, Leatherman Wave. That is a Leatherman Wave Plus full size. Uh, I've got the Odical D1 driver, and back here in the back, I've got uh, All Access Pass Lynch Northwest pin. Um, pry bar. So yeah, a little bit of a simpler carry. I'm trying to kind of boil things down a little bit, get a little simpler. I know it, yeah, there's a lot of knives, but, uh, you know, to be honest, this, the, um, this knife is one that I've just kind of had on me throughout the day, walking around the house and, and working on it. So, um, really haven't been carrying that one out and about, but, uh, anyway, yeah, let's, um, let me give you my final thoughts from this week. Hey, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this week's carry. Any interesting ideas that you came across? Anything that you um, disagree with or that you have a better idea on? I'm always, like, I learn a ton from the comments, and I actually probably learn more from you guys correcting me on videos than I, I do from researching, it seems like, sometimes. So, yeah, thanks for always keeping me on the up and up there, guys. I do appreciate it. Let me know what you think about my custom knife that I've been working on. Um, what you think about this shape? Uh, you know, it just let me know what you think about it in general. Um, I'd love to get your feedback on it and let me know if you think I'm on to something or if I really should just give up and uh, go back to my day job, <laughs> which I, which I'd never have um, left. So anyway, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's wrap it up. And guys, once again, thanks so much for joining me for another TGIF Pocket Dump. So good to have you hang out with me on another Friday evening. I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. Hope you have a good weekend this weekend. If you're working, hey, shout out to my weekend warriors there. Stay up. And, uh, you know, if you are off this weekend and you plan on doing some playing, have fun, but make sure that you be safe. Um, you know, like I always say, always be caring and remember the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. 
average gear review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.